Oh, shoot. I missed that completely. Crud. Ugh. Completely missed that. Ay, ay, ay. It's so bad. Okay, let's go knight f3. Let's go e3. Play c4 here. Oh, uh, let's play d4 this time. Maybe Mr. Fazzy with the prime name, Mr. Fazzy. Uh, let's go queen b3. Hit the pawn. It's not like YouTube doesn't care. It's simply not profitable. I mean, I think it could be, but it's just too much work is the way that I read it. That, that's my general read of the situation. I think it's just too much work. Thank you for the thirsty monster for the raid, even though I don't see the actual raid. Thank you so much. Or, whoops. Thank you so much for the thirsty monster. Appreciate it. Okay, go here. This looks dubioso. This looks quite wrong, actually. Wait. Yeah, this is definitely not right. Uh, I think I'm going to go here and rook c1. I'm going all in for the quick attack. <clears throat> I think Thirsty Monster for the non-raid. I think Thirsty Monster Raider tried to raid. I don't know. I mean, maybe something went wrong. Let's go here. Takes, I can just take. Okay, we got Bishop D6 here. Now, I can always trade. It doesn't look quite right, but I think it's... Actually, I should just do it. and play like Bishop E2, maybe. Can always go h3. Actually, g3 maybe is an interesting move, but I think I'm just gonna go bishop e2 attack tonight. By the way, I saw Benjamin Bach was in uh, was in chat earlier. Big shout out to Benjamin. He did win, I believe, the European. Um, he, he won like a European Blitz Championship or something. So big shout out to Benji. Uh, congrats on the on the great result, my man. Um, okay, I'm gonna go queen d1 and probably bishop d3 and knight e2 or something. Maybe I had knight a4 too, but whatever. Who cares? So, yeah, big shout out to uh, to Benjamin as well. Because I think he had a great result in the tournament. So, congrats, my man. Congrats. You demand. You demand. All right. He goes there. Uh, I'm just going to go here. I'm trying to play this very, very, like, slow and cautious just to avoid any real danger. So, yeah, big shout out to Benji. Uh, Bishop b4 is actually a pretty good move. Yeah, I don't like that position at all. Uh, let's just go a3. Probably go back. I'll probably play like Queen F3 or something. Maybe like no, I think I'll go 92 back again. I'll just keep it very, very simple here. Okay, it goes 94, which is interesting. I can always trade. I think I'm just gonna play Bishop E1. So what is XQC's rating? Magnus's rating is 3322. He's not online, is he? I don't see him online. Dude, you're trolling me. Magnus is not online right now. What are you talking about? I saw someone say Magnus was like 3350 earlier. It's like he's not online. Stop making up stuff. Stop trolling. Like, there's there's no need for it. Um, okay, I guess I'll play... I think I'm gonna go Queen D2 here. Maybe like Bishop H4. Yeah. <laughs> Chat trolling. Well, Magnus' rating was 33-11 going into Title Tuesday. He was doing very well. Um, yeah. Knight D8. Okay, now I can play like Bishop F2 here. I think I'm happy to trade and go like Knight D3, Knight D5 maybe. I mean, I can also just trade everything off. Okay, let's go Knight F4 here. He can take if he wants to. I don't know if it's all that great. Actually, I kind of don't like Knight F4, but whatever. Ah, he peaked at 33.22. Okay. The question was about XQC. What about Felix? I don't know. You guys have an actual question about Felix? Um, Yeah, maybe you're asking a question about Felix. I, I don't know what you're asking. Okay, let's just trade. Go like Rook C1. <clears throat> Actually, no, I'm going to go Rook E1 idea to play E4 somewhere in here. I'm going to go G4. I don't know if this is a good move. It's very aggressive. It's aggressively aggressive, as I like to say. Uh, take. goes Knight H8. Okay, but now I think things start to collapse. I have Knight E5, and his chain of pawns is about to break into pieces, I believe. It feels like this should be really bad. Maybe F4, maybe Queen D3. This doesn't look right. Um, there's something wrong with this, but I don't quite know what it is. E6, check. Can you have E4? I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to go here. Actually, no, I shouldn't pre-move that. It's bad pre-move. <laughs> I'm trying to take and go E6 and win the rook. He goes there. Take. Um, I think I'll go. I misplayed this again. What am I doing? Maybe just queen d4 with e6 threats. I'm moving way too slowly, by the way. 
What am I doing here exactly? No, I'm horribly bungling this. Yeah, I've totally messed this up. Completely messed this up. Go here to attack the rook. I'm lucky I have bishop b3. It's a very important move. Um, I guess I'll go here. Rook g1, maybe. <clears throat> G4, that, that looks wrong. I mean, I assume I have some tactics here. I don't actually see it right off, but I... Just move. I think I'm just winning, though. He can't guard everything. Yeah, I just take. No, it's GG. Why not? Rook C2, Rook G2. Yeah, takes and takes. Okay. There we go. Next game. Thank you so much to Cash Boy for the two. Nosebleed for the 13. Thank you so much to Overmind as well. Appreciate Overmind for the eight. Thank you so much. Okay, he goes tonight. Let's play D5 here. Play G6. I admire how you can act so calm and collected with 10.8k watching. I don't pay attention to numbers anymore. I don't pay attention to those. Is there a reason the ratings used to be much higher in 2015? I don't know. Anyway, I'm up for the prime. Uh, only up. I mean, I can always play only up, but it's like, it's, I mean, I'm probably going to fall if I play it. It's... Well, I mean, obviously I'm going to fall, but, oh, is this not plus, no, it's plus two for a win. It's not plus one. You scared me. For a second, I thought it was plus one. I was like, uh-oh. Why did I do that, by the way? Yeah. Let's go here. This is a classic God of Kamsky opening. I play this against somebody. I play this against, um, I'm gonna go here and bishop, like, bishop a3, maybe. Play, like, h5. Maybe c5 is a move. <clears throat> okay, I think I'll go here, attack the rook. I think I'm gonna go b5, try to open up the position. Maybe it's not a great move, actually, but... Just drop the bishop back. Oh, wait, I just hung a pawn. What the heck? Oh, but I'll go here. Maybe it's not so bad. Actually, I get some counterplay, maybe. <clears throat> Knight a4, logical. I'm not so sure that I like this position that much for white. I have 94, I have a 5, I've got like h4. Starting to create some weaknesses. Okay, good g4. Now I have queen f4. Oh, I should have played bishop h6. It was a much better move. Go here. I don't know why I did this either, though. This was so stupid. Incredibly stupid by me. Oh, right, this song. Ba -da 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 La 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 la. <clears throat> la 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 la. I have rook g3 here, that's the whole point. Also f4. Also f4 maybe. Yeah, f4 is actually pretty aggressive too. Uh, yeah, 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 Maybe I go here in 97. Not so easy. Uh, yeah, actually, no, this is fine. I don't understand. So I just go here. Yeah, 98. Easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. La.
Okay, now we get a different structure, so I should be happy. I guess I'll go D3. I don't even know what's the best move, but it's a move. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to play F5, maybe. We'll see if it's good or not. Maybe C3. I'm going to try to play on both sides of the board here. <clears throat> Go here, maybe knight c4. Uh, God won title Tuesday. Yes, he did. King d7, interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna go g4. Why not? Okay, I think what I want to do is I want to maybe go rook g6 somewhere. Maybe knight g4 is a threat, but I, I think I'm just going to develop normally. Maybe castle. Rook h2 doesn't really bug me. I think rook h2 is actually a very bad move because now there's knight g4. I can also just. Uh, wait, I got to be a little bit careful how I do this. <laughs> maybe I just take and go rook g6, actually. Yeah, like this and knight g4 is a massive threat here. Free move it to capture. Yeah, Maxim had the best, better tiebreak than Gotti. Yep. MVL one. Um, <clears throat> am I missing something? <laughs> now I guess I just take. I mean, Knight H two and Rook F six are both in play here. No, it's great to see God doing well. I mean, it, it is great to see, actually. God didn't win, did he? Just take with a pawn. Cut off the knight. No jumps. Okay, I mean, this should just be winning. I take and go like... Oh, wait, I can't play knight d5. He's bishop c4. What the heck am I smoking? Again, ridiculous. Why did I take... Oh, my God. I mean, it's still winning, but oh yeah, yeah, that was bad. Let's go here in castle. Because it takes, and then I then I fossilize him with bishop a6 at the end. Got him, missed a meet in nine in the last round. Ooh, brutal, brutal. Oh, we will be doing title Tuesday, absolutely. Yeah. I trying to get Magus rating. Not really. I just like playing Blitz chess. Why not? Blitz is a fun game to play. Uh, I could also just take this. Do I play Rook F1 or do I, I think? I mean, if it goes Rook H3, I can even sack the Queen. Who, who cares? Next turn on my radar? I don't know. I'm not sure. Goes Rook H3, so I assume that I can just... I can even, I can sack anywhere. Um, uh, I assume this is the correct sack because when he takes, he's gonna lose the bishop on c7. Why did I take the bishop on c4? I couldn't. It was pinned. Yeah, I'll play him until it's plus one. At plus one, I'll probably I, I probably will stop. Yeah, I'm going to play the same opening, basically. Let's just castle bishop g4. Just very slow, very rock solid, basically. Thank you so much to Ikramoran for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I guess I'll just play the same thing with rook c8 and queen b8. How much do I still have Dimitri? Um, not as much as I would have liked. Uh, not as much as I would have liked. I'm going to go h5 again. I mean, again, it doesn't really do a whole lot, but it's a move to play. God would have played like 98 and f5. In fact, I think 98 and 96 is what I am going to do here. Try to play like 96. Okay, it goes b3 again. I think I'll go 96, hit the pawn. Maybe f5, knight f6. I kind of like what I'm doing. I feel like I've actually found a system that Rusmov is not super comfortable in. 
I don't know if I like G5, but it seems good enough to stop knife F4. H4 takes looks very scary to play for white. Also, knight E4, big threat. I really like what I've got here. Okay, so now I can always go G4. The question is, is G4 a threat for him? And temporarily, it is a threat, so I gotta stop it. So now I'll go here, just cut him off. G4, of course, create the weakness. Right, he's gonna go F4, Rook H8. Okay, I gotta activate the Rook. You must have back problems. How much you sit every day? No siree. I have zero back problems. I have no back problem. Right, let's go here and attack the Rook, step one. And then I'm gonna go here to attack the Knight. And then I'm gonna go Knight D6, Knight E4. And I'm, I think I'm doing great here. Maybe a Panda Force for the Prime thing so much. It's very ugly for White. I'm getting this great Bastion on E4, an overloaded Bastion. Maybe my back hurts from carrying chess all these years, though, on Twitch. Na, 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 na. Okay, what should I do? I put on E4. I guess I'll put this knight. The other knight, he can kick my horse. So I'm going to go knight E4. I mean, like, this cannot possibly be good for white. Like, I, I can't see the win on the spot, but he's got this horrible bishop on G1. It's just an absolute terrible piece. Now, the thing is, at some point, I open up, open up the position because this... Wait, I also check. Yeah, I just go check, and... I mean, check looks good. I can just take... Takes. If take, I just take. I mean, his bishop is so dead on g1. It's so bad. I guess I'll take with a rook. I don't have to, but it's good enough. Yeah, e4, I'll just take, of course. Okay, I think I found an opening that... I think I found a couple of openings that are really good. Play against Rustamov. It's still plus two, so plus two, I'm gonna keep playing for a bit. Nice haircut, you look younger. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Maybe a teleblocking for the prime. Okay, I mean, I guess I'll go for it again. Maybe here, knight c4, same thing. But now I have check also. Oh, he's gonna go king d. Ah, I missed the ah. That was stupid of me. I forgot that you could move the king. Okay, let's drop back and reset. Um, I think g4 makes sense. Knight c4 is always a move. I think I'm just gonna go h4 rook g1. Like same thing with g5. Like I'm not really all that worried. I'm gonna go b4. I kind of expect this, but I felt like. I don't know, somehow I felt like I should get enough play here. Let's go back. His king is very naked here on c7. Very little protection in front of the king. And I can always just slide my king to f2. Beating a geezer, how do you sleep at night? I think it'll lose felt for the prime. I sleep because I, of course, follow the classic code of Cobra Kai, which is strike first, strike hard, but most importantly, no mercy. No mercy for, for Rustamov. Mercy is not not for me. I'm gonna move my king here. And I um maybe just bishop g2. I just gotta activate the bishop. My pieces are pretty good, but they're not perfect. Like here. Oh, did I just hang work b2? I did, but luckily I'm not lost. Doesn't take advantage, so. So let's go here and king g1 maybe. It's not the move I expected for sure. Somewhere in here, there's going to be some knight d5 that should just be blasting through, but I don't see it, so I'm just going to play simple moves here. Knight b5 is an idea. A, actually, a5 is very strong now, I think. Knight b6, I mean, 
This should not be okay for black. Like rook b1, knight a4. I mean, this feels very loose. Everything's kind of collapsing here. I'm going to play rook b2 or something. Actually, no, I'm going to go. He's still defending somehow. Annoying. Um, maybe here. Oh, I just hung a5. What the heck was that? That was ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was so bad by me. I just got to move fast now. I just got to pick up the pace. Five. Okay, I'll go here. Okay, rook b5 also not a good move. Yeah, he might have just blundered the game. I think I have here. And now he's just going to lose the, the horses. I'm trying to just take and end, end him. Yeah, this is really, really bad. I think I'm just about to win again. Queen a5. So if I take... Takes, takes, takes. Ah, rook b8 at the end. Again, if this feels like it should be winning. I don't know. This should be winning. Takes. Just like take. I mean, how is this not winning here? Actually, what the heck did I just do? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just blundered for no reason. What was that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What did I just do? Wait, no. I have queen B Wait, no. I have Wait, no, no. I didn't blunder. Queen B5. Yeah, I almost just blundered here. Oof. Luckily, I have queen B5. Yeah, I almost blunder. Thanks so much to Moo Claire for the three. I didn't blunder. I win the game, but I almost blunder. If I don't have queen B5, I just lose. Oh, did I have knight B5 and rook A6? No, but knight B5, it just takes. No, I didn't have it. No. No. Uh-huh. So. It's all good. It's all good, you guys. It's all good. Once again, for those of you guys, I think you need a magic scene for the Prime. Those of you guys who do have Amazon Prime. Amazon owns Twitch. So because Amazon owns Twitch, you can connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. Subscribe free to one channel every single month. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Of course, take money away from Jeff Bezos. Already is too much money. Take half that money yearly out of the Amazon Prime subscription and give it to your favorite streamer. Very, very helpful. No downside. All you do is take money out of Amazon's pocket. And Lord knows they have too much money. Let's go... Uh, Okay, he plays the London system. Interesting. So I'll play Bishop five e6. Thank you to Bill Scouts for the prime. Thank you to Bill Scouts. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm just going to go here and trade the bishops. Halfway to an adoption. I'm not actually thinking about an adoption. I'm just trying to play good chess. Uh, let's just develop. Yeah. Just connect it. Why not? Take five bucks away. Thank you Zinovich for the six months. Thank you so much to Zinovich. What does the kebab refer to in chess? It refers to a very classic, juicy kebab. In a typical tradition. Typical Turkish traditions. I gave money to Jeff Bezos. He needs it because his wife took all of his money. Very funny. I didn't shave my head, but very funny. I guess I'll take and play B5. Could have played the other order too, but whatever. I have C5, B5, multiple ideas. I'm going to go B5 here. Probably here and then C5 or B4. Eh. Actually, I shouldn't have done this. Here. I should not have done this because now the position is becoming kind of drawish. Mistake. Thank you to Alvamos for three. Thank you to Durwitz Fitzker for the prime. I mean, I don't want to do this, but I don't have a choice, unfortunately. Um, I guess I'll take with a pawn. Oh, he goes. Oh, did I just miss 94? Oh, just great. I did. Lovely. I missed that move completely. Um. Shoot. Uh, or no, wait, I have C4. What, what am I smoking? I just go C4 and F5. I'm just completely on... I'm completely smoking something. I don't know what I'm smoking, but I'm smoking the something. Let's go here. Idea to play E5 and, and break the center pawn chain. Thank you to Marchand de Chocolate for the two months. Thank you to Marchand de Chocolate. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. 
Since when did I have a buzz cut? Um, good one. Now, e5 is the move that I want to play, but I, I want to massage the position a little bit. Like, queen b7, maybe? Makes some sense to hit the knight. And then maybe, like, king g7, f5, e5. Like, I'm trying to massage it. Okay, it goes... Oh, I can't play that. Whoops. Wait, if I trade and play e5... 592... I think I'm gonna go here, attack the knight, and play like Bishop A3, maybe. Let's go. Yeah, I just I gotta move quicker. I'm too slow right now. Of course, he finds Rook B1, lovely. Not to take. I mean, I'm not happy at all with the position, but it's still kind of playable, maybe. I have some play here, potentially. It goes A4, which I think is a fairly big blunder. Maybe not fairly big. It's just bigly. A big, bigly mistake here. Because now I lose the pawn because I break the pin, and it's game over almost. I mean, game over is too strong as the show goes on, but I, White's in trouble here. White is, White is in some deep doo-doo, as we say. Um, I take free pawn, of course. I mean, A3 looks right. Why not? Now I have e5 to play against the knight. This is very unpleasant. Of course I take, drop the bishop back. Now I just keep the bishop from a distance, guarding the juicer. Maybe I even double the rooks here. This should be winning pretty easily now that I'm looking at the position. Okay, if I go rook b2. Yeah, this looks correct. This is seriously bad for white. Oh, he goes... Um, first of all, I can actually take for the themes of the memes. Should I sack it? Yeah, let's just sack it. Let's sack the rook and go a2 and win the game. a2. I mean, I have this rook c1 idea, which is a big problem. And also, the reason that I think this is just winning is because I can just go here and cut him off. Like, he actually can't do almost anything. It's just that bad. I'm just going to go a4, a3, and he can't do anything. Okay, I will take. I'm gonna go here. Okay, hangs the pawn, and now bishop c3 is a problem. Like, there's just nothing white can do here. I also have f5. Or this, maybe? Yeah, this looks good. Oh, I blunder rook c2. Oh my god. I go bishop c3, rook c1. Okay, I, I just gotta move. I have bishop. C, I always have bishop c3. Why am I so panicky? Okay, let's... what am I doing? Maybe just here in king b3. I'm too panicky for no reason. It should just be winning, though. Yeah, I, I win the game now. We have Burt Macklin, FBI for the 12. We have Captain Co-op for the 4. We have Anna Paulton for the Prime and Colleagues for the Prime. There we go. I think I've got, I'm getting good positions with this E4, Queen 2 nonsense. You know, it's over when Hikaru starts saying the subs. Yeah, sometimes, not always. Maybe Andy Carton for the prime. It's still plus two, you guys. And plus one, I won't play anymore, but plus two, I should keep going. Uh, oh, he still has king d7. I keep forgetting he wants to go king d7. Like, he wants to go here, so. I think there's a heavy kevy for the prime. There's a heavy kevy. I've adopted Rust Ma before. Okay. That seems like a bad... Is he going to go b4? Probably he will. 
Let's just go here, G5. Not worried about the pawn right now. I think I'll just keep attacking. Why not? I mean, this looks really bad. Like, maybe it's not actually that bad, but it looks horrible. I guess I'll go C4 here and take. I have C4 to hit the knight. His king is very iffy. I mean, oh, he's got 95, which of course I didn't see at all. Actually, no, maybe it's not. Uh, it's not as good as it should be. Uh, but still, his king is very weak on E8. Okay, now the key here is how do I attack? I don't like my position at all. I'll go here, maybe C4 at some point. Yeah, I have to do something fast or else I'm gonna end up in a lot of trouble. Maybe just C4 right away and then like 93 and 95. 94, Queen D1, G8. It's actually a good move. Maybe, maybe not just here. Just gotta keep the pressure on him here. Knight G4 is also possible, but whatever. Seven. What's his idea? What's his idea? What's his idea? He doesn't have an idea, but I also don't have an idea either. So let's just go. Let's go here and try to trade some queens. Time is still balanced. It's still not so bad. He trades, which I'm actually very surprised by. I did not expect that. Don't know why I went to F1 either. I should have gone to H3, but whatever. Now I can activate my bishop, though, I think. Like, maybe here. Oh, I missed rook g3, of course. Wait, I have to be really careful. Did I just blunder the game? Over here. I have to be very careful. I'm very close to throwing this game. Time is even, too. And he can sense it that this is, like, his chance to win the game. So that's why he's using his, his time as well. They have Rook D3 for the 35 months. Same as much Rook D3. I'm going to go here. Here and trade. Okay, now I'm back in the game. I have Knight G4. I'm back in the game. Here. I blundered knight h6, of course. Still very much in the game, though. Um, oh, crud. How do I do this? Maybe knight d5 or something? Maybe knight f1. I have to stay really focused here. You gotta move, you gotta move. Okay, I'm gonna win this game. Good. My king gets in and I'm, I'm fine. Now I can go. Whoa, they have Fen Bingle for the 10 gifted subs. Same as much as Fen Bingle. Appreciate it. Okay, I should win now. Yeah, I just walk the walk the dog and win the game. I walk the king up. Deep 
going seven up seven down thank you to the fem bingold again for the 10 gift of subs thank you to the moisty for the prime thank you to the hacksaw for the prime as well all right he's gonna play the trump house key here let's play c5 maybe d6 hmm seems wrong somehow yeah I think it's just a fun buying gold for the 10 gifteds wait wait what is this he blundered because on knight c4 I check he doesn't have bishop d2 that's just a free pawn I'll take it gladly I love that you read chapter will hurt your rating I literally do not care draw back I don't have to go queen b6 but I assume I just want to finish my development here and now I can just go d5 and knight c6 even uh queen e2 is a move that I kind of missed actually I could play like knight h5 here I feel like I'm kind of mis actually kind of seriously misplaying this go here I think now I just go e6 and bishop d6 keep it really simple here nothing stupid no blunders so go here What is it like on the journey becoming GM? It's a, oh shoot, I missed that completely. Crud. Ugh. Completely missed that. Ay yeah yeah, it's so bad. Although wait, he gives me bishop a six and rook f eight maybe. I also have bishop f four. I got to get rid of these bishops. If I get rid of the bishops, I can consolidate. I'm probably fine. Shoot, I messed this all up. No, I messed this up. Yeah, I allowed this. And, oh. Unfortunate. There's F4. I mean, that's a slight mistake. Doesn't lose the game. Do I have, F, do I have G6 here? Wait. Wait, no, I don't have G6. What am I doing? Wait, did he just blunder where he sit? Wait. I think he just blundered. Queen A3. Queen E1, Rook D1. He did blunder, but he's lucky. Um, take and check. Is endgame winning or not? I, I mean, he gets an outside pawn, probably. I don't know if it's winning, so I'm just going to play. I've got to use the uh, the second rank here to attack. Go here, c5, d4. These are lava vets for the two months. These are lava vets. Appreciate. It. Okay. Now I assume I just start pushing, pushing the P in the middle of the board. Go here. Start pushing more P. I mean, it's it's still on the edge. Go here. Oh wait, I can't eat five and takes. Wait, he just blundered. Wait. I can check maybe. I should be winning here. I think. Go here. Yeah, I am winning because I have G2. There we go. They need to avoid for the 24. They really avoid Jay-Z for the tier one of Billy J for the prime and Hunter for the prime. Eat the juicer. I mean, if this isn't winning, I'd be fairly shocked, actually. Yeah, this is just winning. He has A4 and King E3, King F3. Should be winning. 
Let's take the pawn. Yeah, GG. Why not? There we go. GG. Why not? Eight out of eight. Let's keep going. All you live. All you live. Thank you to Queen Spell for the seven months. Thank you so much to Queen Spell. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, is he done? I guess he's done at eight. I think he thought he realized he had played poorly. Okay. 